Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you all three school lunch meal prep ideas that are microwavable. You can also have them cold as well but these are also options that can be heated up. Some schools allow the students to have microwaves. I know for the year 12s in my year at my school we have like a whole kitchen in our year 12 area which is awesome. So these are a few lunch ideas. Um, they're all healthy, simple, they've got accessible ingredients and also really versatile which is what I like most of my recipes to be. Um, especially I post lots of versatile recipes on my channel. So yeah, these are also really nutritious. They've got some protein, carbs, some fat in there and then some healthy sources of fat and then they've also got lots of nutrients from like salad or vegetables and stuff. But they're all really good. I've had them all this week. They've got lots of flavour and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and find some cool recipe ideas to make on the weekend and let's get into it. So this first recipe is a healthy chicken burrito bowl. So the first thing you want to do is put um, some chicken mince in a pan. Uh, let that cook for a bit. I added some Mexican seasoning. Um, I just brought this pre-packaged one because that one's my favorite and it's just a lot easier as well. And then I added in some rice in the rice cooker. I did half white rice and half brown because I just wanted to shake it up and have a bit of variety and I let that cook that normally takes about half an hour and then once the chicken was all cooked I cut up some vegetables so I cut up some capsicum first I did it in long slices because I wanted to grill it and I didn't want to have it too small because otherwise it just like doesn't give off the same taste I don't really know I just like to do it in long bits and I put that on the pan and I had like a little bit of leftover chicken seasoning so it gave it a bit more flavour and also I added some olive oil to make it like nice and crispy and juicy. So I just let that cook. It only took about like five minutes and I kept it on a medium heat. Then I made some homemade tortilla chips. So I just got two of these wraps. Um, however, they were not the best. They were kind of stuck together. It was like I've never had this happen to me with the wraps. So that was an interesting experience. But you know what? We made it work. Who cares? Wrap is a wrap. Um, these are wholemeal, by the way, but feel free to use like gluten-free, white, whatever you prefer. And I cut these up into slices. I got this idea from TikTok ages ago, so I thought I'd just bring it back. Um, and yeah, I just cut them up into like triangles or little rectangles, put them on a baking tray, and then put some olive oil on the top, like a fair amount so that I'd get nice and crispy, because last time I did, I did not add enough. And then I added some paprika too for a bit of flavor. Um, I combined it all so that every little chip thing was coated and then I grabbed some sea salt as well and sprinkled that on top just for a bit of extra flavour enhancement. Then I chucked them in the oven at 170 degrees Celsius. These literally only took about like three to five minutes. Um, they cook really quick so keep an eye on them. And as you can see my capsicum was done, my chicken was cooked. The rice was almost done and that's what the chips look like when they were finished. While I was waiting for the rice to finish off, I cut up some coriander just for a little bit of flavour to mix it in because I think that's what Mexican places do. I don't really know, but I really like coriander. If you don't, you can skip this or add some other herbs or whatever. And I also added in some lime juice and once the rice is cooked, I put it in there and stirred that around. That gives the rice like a lot more flavour and just makes the whole meal taste so much better. Good thing with cooking rice is that it lasts like a while in the fridge so you can store it and have it for a while. Then I cut up some extra vegetables to have. So I cut up some zucchini. I was gonna cook it, but I completely forgot about it. So that's all right, it's fun as it is. And I cut it up um, pretty small because I'm not the biggest fan of having huge chunks of zucchini. I also cut up some tomato as well. Again, you could like grill this like the capsicum but I forgot about that one too so that's great we just have it fresh I also added a little bit of salt just to enhance the flavor I had learned this from Subway when I worked there and then I put in about one and a half scoops of the rice some chicken next to it I tried to present this as best as I could but 
didn't really work out as beautifully as expected. Then I added in the grilled capsicum and then the freshly chopped tomato and zucchini. You could also add some avocado or whatever or dressing. And then I added the chips. If you're going to microwave this, I'd recommend putting the chips in like a separate container. But I just did it for the sake of this video. But as you can see, it's really balanced, healthy and got heaps of flavour to it. Our next meal prep idea is one that I make all the time, which is a chicken pasta with vegetables and a recent addition, olives. So you want to start off by steaming your vegetables. Um, we've got this frozen pack from Costco. It's got a huge range of vegetables like broccoli, mushroom, peas. But, but if this isn't really your thing, you could just add vegetables that you like. Um, even just cut them up really small if you want to have them because it's good to add vegetables to your pasta. It makes it more nutritious. And then I added in some uh, pulse pasta, which is made out of chickpeas and stuff. But feel free to use whatever pasta you like. Then I cut up some already cooked chicken breast, which mum prepared earlier. And then to, once the pasta and vegetables was cooked, I added in the pasta sauce and let that cook for a bit until it kind of simmered down um, and made sure there was nothing there. I also added in the chicken at that point to get that all mixed with the other ingredients. Um, I used this Lego's pasta sauce. That one for me tastes the best. Um, and then I also added in some chickpeas for some extra protein as well. Um, just because I really like chickpeas. And then I also added, I also added up a slice of cheese just like broken up because that's the only cheese we had in the house. So. Then once the cheese was melted, I put them into three separate containers. I managed to get three serves out of this. And it has to be one of my favorite go-to pasta recipes. If I don't use chicken, I'll use smoked salmon, which you may think is weird, but it's really nice in this sort of pasta dish. It's got a lot of flavor. Tastes really good and it's super healthy, so many nutrients in there and it's also really balanced. And then I forgot to add the olives so I just add them on top. Whoops, but there you go. I've kind of started to like them thanks to, again, Subway. Gosh, Subway is helping me a lot with this video. Um, yeah, they just add a really nice flavour and I really like them. Next recipe is a teriyaki chicken bowl. So you want to start off by cooking whatever rice you want. Then mum had some baked chicken that was already prepared, so I just used that. And I used this teriyaki sauce. Yes, I know, not the healthiest thing in the world, but it's also easy and I don't use heaps of it. I just use like a little bit to give flavour. But if you want, feel free to make your own teriyaki sauce. But I just find this super easy and quick, especially for students like me. We don't have time to buy all of these random ingredients to make teriyaki. Then I added in the frozen vegetables from Costco. If you want, you could use salad for this, but I chose to use vegetable this time. Then I added in black rice. You may be thinking, Paris, what on earth is that? It's like a really like healthy, natural sort of rice. I like the taste of it. Some people don't. Um, and, then that, and then I added the chicken and some chickpeas as well for some protein. And I also managed to get, I think, two serves out of this. So I added the rice to another container chicken again this chicken actually had heaps of flavor like it was really really good um and it wasn't overly sweet which some sauces are then i added on the steamed vegetables as well divided that into two and that was about it for this um recipe it was super quick and easy to make it was super simple um had heaps of flavor really nutritious once again and just something basic that can be heated up well so they are all the recipes I've got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe found something that you might want to try or are a little bit inspired to do some cooking on the weekend and get organized for school. Meal prepping is such an amazing way to stay healthy at school and like keep being nutritious um, instead of just having like plain sandwiches and or like boring dry salad. So yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did, please give it a like and subscribe, all of that jazz, and I'll see you all in my next video.